if Katrina came, the insurance company say because Katrina was a natural disaster and it caused the leverage to break, we're not paying for nothing below five feet. The federal government, I don't know if y'all do, number 45, have eliminated help to the lower floor. My name is Bruce A. Davenport. I'm a pastor of St. John the Baptist Patriot. education system in New Orleans does not prioritize the poor or disadvantaged. Before Katrina, they had like seven schools. Now they only had one. It's back there. These are the public schools he's talking about. There are plenty more charter schools. There used to be a school right here. Katrina knock it down. While charter schools in the 7th Ward aren't hard to find, the public school system has fallen. Many charter schools replace public community spaces. The big difference is they build a school there. They took a park away from us to build a school. Now kids don't have nowhere to go. Instead of building more schools, they build this. A prison for bars. This is where you go before you go to the big house. This is where you go before you go to the big house. The youth study center. I mean, it housed thousands of them. I mean, the kids that could be in school, thousands of them. When you take school away from kids, you stop them from being a rocket scientist, doctor, a lawyer. All they're going to know, know how to do is pick up a gun and rob people. I want his life to be a productive life. I want him to understand that he has to help. So as my grandson, I'm teaching him right now how to help. And one day, one day, he might be in my seat that I'm sitting in today, doing what I'm doing, helping. Down the street from St. John's number five, Pastor Bruce helps run Camp ACE, an HIV and AIDS prevention center that focuses on teaching about safer sex. Camp ACE offers free HIV tests to the community. My name is Alicia Parker, and I'm a team leader, a supervisor for St. John Number 5 Camp ACE. I've only been with the company here for a year, working with the community. Um, HIV uh, testing and information is very important, uh, especially in the areas we live, the, the city we live in. They do condom and lubricant deliveries along with providing literature and referrals to other agencies in their community. 20 minutes uh, from start to finish is the shortest time span. It can go a little bit, run a little bit longer, but the, the actual test from fingerprint to result is 20 minutes. There's counseling in the midst of that, and the counseling, depending on the questions, concerns, can differ in time. The numbers for HIV, we're pretty high um, in our ranking. We usually always in the top five, and um, just I've always found uh, an attraction for uh, working in a health a healthful environment. Just I guess something that's needed, but not uh, as glamorous or as greatly paid as some positions. But I want to while we just doing. The prevention level because we had several people in our church who had HIV and we wanted to do something about it. So what we did about it was do start working with the prevention level. After learning about Camp ACE, the Baptist Church excommunicated St. John's number five, saying they were promoting sex before marriage. But it's a constant struggle. Um, it's not that 
the education is is not there. It's just that the community. I don't think that there's enough of agencies that are going into the areas that are heavily at risk enough. I mean, we do what we can, but we're just one agency. Yeah. I think that eventually, if we keep up what we're doing, the numbers will decrease. I believe that. I don't think that it's a losing battle because I don't think I'd be doing this if it was a losing battle. But yeah, it's it's rough. But yeah, I think that it's just consistency. Yeah, we'll be here. So. They have four major gangs in this area, which they call the Sun Ward, which is called Palette Land. When I took over as pastor, my cry was because the lifestyle I used to be, I wanted to reflect more on helping people than trying to make them understand that they're going to fall out of heaven. Helping pe people mean what? Getting my hands dirty, getting out there in the community, it's separate things. We're the, only, we're the only church that can have that uh, protection because when they saw we was really serious about helping people. Pastor Bruce's work with the community is so well known, gangs have agreed his church would be off limits. Gangs hanging out at a store. This will mark their territory. This will mark their territory. So what you have to do, what I have to do is stay tight with them. Stay friendly with them. And let them know that uh, we, we ain't the one. See if it's all a hard head. Serious about being destructive. There's a gang member house right over here. They only come out at night because they're on the most wanted list. So I had to work with all these different gangs because our church got robbed six times in one month. And because of that, I couldn't go to the police for help. And if you go to the police for help, that's just like signing your own debt warrant. So I had to go to the gang members. When the gang members realized what I was doing, still working in the community, they put an off-limits sign on me. They put an off-limits sign on our church. When you have an off limit sign, that means they can't hit you. They can't hit your members. But if you go to the police and rat on them, you just like signing a death warrant. Ministers got killed because they went to the police. Not only does the pastor's relationship with these gangs help his church stay safe, it also allows gang members to have a safe religious space. We have three members who go to our church as members of them. Then we have other members of, of other gangs. Well, because we all limit, they can't shoot one another and they can't shoot nobody in the church. We the only church that bury gang members. Other churches don't want to bury a gang member. Every time you bury a gang member, the person who did the killing, Always gonna come to the funeral and shoot up somebody else. Gonna come to your funeral and shoot up somebody else. If they can't get you on the street, they figure they can get you at the funeral. So churches will not touch the funeral home. We're never gonna give up. No, we're never gonna stop. We're so glad that people come down at Ithaca come down to help us. To help reinforce the neighborhood. When they see some neighborhoods in New Orleans, it's like the victim. But it's still here for the Katrina. We are happy that we do get that type of help, knowing we won't get the help we need from our city, our state, our president. None of that. We are limited because we the last one on the totem pole. Being part of a low income level, you only get what you can expect, and we can't expect much, so that means we won't get much.